Hey everyone, it's Nick and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new Mixtemple Pro for Logic Pro X. So Mixtemple Pro comes with three components. A template, which includes everything for you to start a great mix. A channel strip library, which allows you to simply load a whole plugin chain on your audio track. And a third party plugin called Halls of Fame, which is a reverb plugin and it models a selection of the most iconic analog reverbs. So I would suggest we start looking at the template. So this is the template here, and on the top you can see the song structure is already set up. These are markers, and you can just simply drag them and match them to your song structures. You can use option and drag them to du duplicate it. And so you don't have to ro worry to set up them individually. Uh, next up are the audio channels. We, we already set up a bunch. Starting with a drum kit designer of Logic. You can use for MIDI drums, audio dra tracks for uh, for drums, like multiple kick drums, bus together for easy mixing, snare drum, uh, rooms, overheads, toms, and even some buses for parallel processing on the drums. Uh, next up is bass, we have some bass tracks, sound effects, guitars, different kind, um, moving to keyboards, different keyboards, here something for orchestra, and now we arrive at the vocals, we have mono tracks for simple backing vocals and stereo tracks for already comped backing vocal stems. Uh, also we have different lead vocal tracks matching different song structures. Uh, a very, very important feature is on every audio track there's a gain plugin already set up. And this allows you to gain stage very quickly. So in case your audio comes in too hard, you, you just simply open the plugin and pull it down or pull it up. So you're never in the situation where you individually need to set up uh, a gain plugin on every track or your audio comes in too hard and, and you are always in, in the reds. So all these audio tracks are sending to a bunch of mix buses. So you can use a, a very standard clean mix bus, single mix bus, classic mixing, or you can use a multibus technique, which allows you to use buses for drums, instruments, and vocals separately. That means you can also process them individually and sum them together on your master bus later. So for example, you want some very compressed instrumental or drums, but you don't want to apply the same compression and processing to the vocals. You just use a different mix bus for the vocals and sum them together later. And last, there's an already effect routing setup with various delays, reverbs, modulation, and all kinds of stuff, uh, which we look in later when, when we talk about the Halls of Fame plugin.